y'all. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite times of year. I have some of my work friends coming over to celebrate a Friendsgiving. Robbie from Barbecue and A, Nicole from Mom Versus, Jory from Something to Talk About, and Robin, my co-host on Homemade Versus the Internet. I'm in charge of the main dish, so I'm gonna make the traditional Thanksgiving turkey, but I'm gonna make it chicken fried. Let's get in the kitchen and start cooking. I grew up eating fried turkey for my Thanksgiving main. I wanted to kind of play off of that for my Friendsgiving, but make it a lot easier on myself. So I'm gonna make them chicken fried turkey. Just like chicken fried chicken or chicken fried steak, I have turkey cutlets that I'm going to batter and fry and serve with gravy. It's gonna be delicious. To start off my dredging mixture, I have to get all-purpose flour and I'm going to mix it with salting crackers, some salt and pepper, and some cayenne. My recipe calls for two and a half cups of flour. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it, y'all. This is a really cool recipe because it mixes breadcrumbs, which are already crunchy, with flour. The saltines add such a nice crunch and they have just big pieces that flake off whenever you eat them. Into my flour and saltines, I'm gonna put a teaspoon of baking powder, teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and then some salt and pepper. I don't like wearing aprons when I cook too much. Sometimes I do if I'm gonna get really messy, but when it's something like flour that can just brush off, I'm not too worried about wearing an apron. I could use a fork for this, but why dirty up one more thing when I could just use my hands? I got my milk and eggs that I'm going to mix here so that I can dredge my turkey cutlets in my flour mixture, my milk mixture, and then back into my flour mixture so it's double crispy, and then into my hot oil. This is peanut oil. You can use canola oil, you can use pure olive oil, but not extra virgin olive oil. Whatever your preferred frying oil is, is totally fine. I like to fry in peanut oil because I like the way that it gives a little bit more even browning and I like the flavor that it adds. I'm heating this over medium high heat and the oil is about a half inch deep in the skillet. To dredge my turkey, I'm gonna start it in the flour and the flour is gonna just lightly coat my turkey cutlets. And then I'm going to put it into my egg and milk mixture and back in to my flour mixture. Putting the flour mixture on your turkey first helps your egg mixture adhere to the turkey, and then putting more flour on top is where you get your crispiness from. These turkey cutlets I bought at the grocery store already cut into cutlets, so they're really thin turkey breasts. If you can't find turkey cutlets, you can buy a boneless turkey breast and then cut it really thin into fillets and then use a meat mallet to pound it out and you'll get about the same result. Hey! Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You are right on time, Robin. As per usual. It's false. The most punctual friend you know. Have you ever had chicken fried turkey? I have never had chicken fried turkey. Really? This I is have... the first time? This is the first time. Do you want me to be honest with you? It's the first time you've ever made it? Yeah, it is. I believe you. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to work out beautifully. I hope so. It, it better. Works. I mean, it's breaded fried meat. You can't go wrong with that, y'all, in the I South. Mean, They're so crispy and brown. I know everyone's going to love these. What do you think, Robin? They done? I think, yeah. Having yeah, you. thanks for coming. Nicole! Mama's here. And that brought cocktails. The best part of Friendsgiving. Here, let me help you. Hey, Hello. Robbie, what's going on? What's happening? Welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yes, Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, thank Happy you. Thanksgiving, Ivy. Thanks. 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 Thanks for having us. That was awesome. Yeah. Oh, is this awesome. turkey? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's Ivy's family <laughs> chicken Not. fried turkey. Here, Robin, you can be the green bean dispenser. I'm so excited to dig in, but before I eat, I kind of want to know what everyone brought. Food and balls, go. Yes. I come from South Louisiana, so my family always has to have some sort of Cajun dish on the table. Yum. And food and balls just happen to be my favorite. So Yum. that's what I brought. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Who made the slaw? I made the slaw, <laughs> Ivy. I think slaw goes with everything. And this one is a smoked beet and Brussels sprout slaw. Little carrots in there. 
Oh. I always think you need to break the brown color palette and have a little freshness uh, on your plate. So eat the rainbow. You're Nicole, totally what did you bring? This is my family, so we always have to incorporate an Italian something into our traditional American Thanksgiving. So this is an Italian green bean casserole. So it tastes like a stuffed artichoke in a casserole dish. But I also brought <laughs> the apple cider margarita. Cheers! Cheers because why not? <laughs> Robbie, what did you bring? Uh, I brought some brined and barbecued chicken with uh, some Alabama white sauce. It's going to be delicious. Yum, that's the yeah. perfect Alabama Thanksgiving. I think so. Cheers. Cheers. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Cheers. Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw today, be sure to follow us on Hey Y'all, Nicole on Mom Versus, Robbie on Barbecue and A, Jory on something to talk about, and me and Robin on homemade versus the internet. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Cheers. Cheers.